They're gonna hear him. The company. Hi, my name is Bob Perillo. I work for International Rights Advocates, uh, a group of attorneys that have lawsuits against Coca-Cola. Uh, one of the lawsuits has to do with human rights violations in Colombia, but we also have another lawsuit that's new that was filed in February of 2010 against Coca-Cola on behalf of two trade unionists in Guatemala and their families whose human rights were violated by this company. I'm here with Jose Armando Palacios, a former leader of the Setinka trade union. Setinka means uh, Union of Incasa Coca-Cola Workers in Guatemala. Uh, Jose Armando uh, received threats and intimidation and several attempts on his life and was forced to flee Guatemala in January of 2006. The company fired Jose Armando Palacios in May of 2005. The firing was illegal because he was a member of the union and according to Guatemalan law, they couldn't fire him without cause. So he started a struggle for his reinstatement. The company on several occasions tried to bribe him so that he would accept severance. They also threatened him, saying that they would kill him if he didn't accept severance and give up his, his fight for reinstatement. He refused to do that. Rodrigo Romero, the Coca-Cola lawyer from Costa Rica, offered Jose Armando, $15,000 in exchange for giving up any future claims against Coca-Cola. Jose Armando refused to sign the paper, refused to take the company's money, and then fled to the United States. Here we have evidence that Coca-Cola intervened directly in Jose Armando's case. And it would have been nice if this had just been the end of a horrible violation of human rights, but it wasn't. In 2008, uh, a colleague of Jose Armando's, whose name is Jose Alberto Vicente Chavez, a, a leader of the Satinka Union, the same trade union, after the union had just finished negotiating a, a collective bargaining agreement with the company, uh, his family was attacked. His son and nephew were murdered and his daughter was gang raped by a group of armed thugs that we believe uh, were put up to it by the company. We really hope that the people who see this video will support the lawsuit against Coca-Cola and will support the Stop Killer Coke campaign. Uh, in fact, the lives of the people who are still in Guatemala depend on it. Thank you.